What's up guys, I'm back. I have actually changed up my setup just a little bit. You can't tell in the background. Well, you can probably see a black tub back there and some Walmart bags, but we're gonna ignore that because I am packing up some boxes to take to storage, so I just needed to pack that up and I did not feel like moving it before I started filming. Before I get started, I am going through a struggle right now with my storage. I am currently unable to see some of the files on my drive for some reason. They're showing up as zero bytes. I talked to Seagate. They're gonna give me a recovery software to use to hopefully you know, recover the files that say zero bytes which they shouldn't say that they there's no reason for them not to be working i'm trying to figure out another backup solution in general so hopefully if y'all have any ideas of what i should use just comment down below and i will try them out hopefully and if they work i will use them but if they don't then i won't i'm trying back blaze right now and i don't really know how it works i'm trying to you know figure out how to put my drives on back blaze and not just my computers can't seem to figure it out though I, i'm surprised usually i can figure this stuff out but i can't but anyways today i'm actually be showing you how to blur out a face um here's an example of me you know blurring out my face as i'm talking there's been certain circumstances where i've needed to blur out logos or something in my videos that just can't be in there because they're explicit or something so this is also could be used for logos and stuff like that pretty much the same method you could try it for both of them if you want so the first thing you want to do is actually duplicate your clips. Now there are a couple different ways that you can do this. I personally like to click option, click and drag, and then, you know, just drag it right on top of the clip. Or you can just control C, control V, and then align them. So once you have your clip duplicated, go ahead and go over to the color page and then select the second clip. You're going to add a note at the end by clicking option S. If that's not your key bind, you can look it up in your keyboard customization tab and find it through there. So the reason I'm putting this note at the end instead of somewhere else in the, in the node tree is simply because if you adjust any of these, it's going to affect this node but if you have it at the end it's basically like layers in a way the last node is you know going to be affecting everything else instead of being affected from everything else now once you have that node selected go over to your window page and select the circle mask go ahead and align this up to the face that you're going to be masking out you know just tweak it down just a little bit and then that should be good then go over to your tracker page and you're going to want to track this forward and backwards as you can tell it's doing a very good job at pinning points on my face and tracking it now you can go ahead and go over to your effects page there's a couple different versions of blur I'm gonna use mosaic blur for the example go ahead and click and drag that onto there you should be able to a tweak the frequency of it now once you have the circle mask track go ahead and go over to your effects page and then you can select a couple different blurs i'm just going to use mosaic blur and just click it and drag it onto the node now that looks pretty good you can also adjust it if you want it more pixelated you want it less pixelated it's all up to you and then you can adjust this as well how you know dense the blur is going to be now of course if i want to tweak the mask a little bit i can just you know narrow it down a little bit and then just retrack it and it should do a very good job at retracking the mask just to you know make it more precise now this will be the final product of the blur yes I moved my head around just to show that the tracking works but you can't even tell it's me other than my room so yeah this is a pretty neat trick that you can use you know whenever you want to blur somebody out or if you don't want somebody to be seen in your videos because you're doing something scandalous you can just blur the face out and you know it's a very good tool to have in your back pocket for whenever you need it now of course most importantly if you have any more videos that you want me to make on you know certain effects or certain things to do I'm always running out of ideas so if you have any ideas that you want me to you know teach y'all show y'all just comment down below and I'll make like a video on it of course for you and I'll make reels or if there's any BTS type of content that you want to see or things that I do in my personal life for you know this as my freelance job as well also one more thing my missed video actually did very well on the first three days it got over a thousand views which is crazy for this channel I only have like 90 something uh, subscribers now and they were actually doing pretty good so I just want to say keep it up guys I really appreciate the love if there's any other things like I said comment down below and I will catch y'all in the next tutorial Bye. yeah